All right, another review, and this time I'm reviewing Equilateral by Ken Kalfas. This book was published by Bloomsbury in April of 2013. It has 224 pages, and it only has 40p ratings on Goodreads. This book is about, um, this is a, in the late 19th century, and there is a British astronomer who gets evidence that there is a highly, highly evolved life on Mars. So he leads a project with a coalition of many investors and, and with the collaboration of many different countries and the leaders of many different countries to pull together money to create a signal to people on Mars to um, let them know that there is intelligent life as well <laughs> on Earth so that um, they can start a connection and to trade knowledge with the Martians because obviously they believe that the Martians are highly evolved and intelligent and advanced, much more advanced than um, humans are. So what they decide to do is they decide to create a giant equilateral triangle, which is a triangle that is has the same length on all sides in the deserts of Egypt. And they think that this, this triangle will be large enough to be seen by Martians when the two planets in their both of their orbits where they're the closest. And they're planning on completing this project by the 17th of June um, and lighting a giant flare so it will be obvious that um, humans created this, intelligent life has created this shape, this shape is not something that is naturally occurring and that they want to communicate and um, they want to have contact with Mars. And so this book talks about the creation of the equilateral triangle in which they're frantically trying to make by the deadline so they can start a dialogue with the aliens. This book, while it starts with a very sci-fi premise, this book goes into a completely different direction. This book starts to touch on racism, colonialism, xenophobia, and also the implications of the subjective term, what it means to be advanced. If this book really made me, caused me to think about when we advance, when we decide to make an advancement for humanity, there's always a sacrifice for on, on, on some humans, and typically it is always the people who are already at the bottom of the barrel, that um, the people that generally feel like they would reap the rewards of the advances are the ones who are pushing the advances, while the ones who won't reap the rewards of the advances of humanity are typically the ones who are sacrificed first. And um, and this really is this this book is from the perspective of of course the people who feel like that they are advanced and that they are advancing humanity and how dare these stupid indigenous people not want this advancement. You know, they, they're not advanced enough to understand this, so we have to make them understand or force them to do this in their best interest. And it's, it's, it's I think it reveals the kind of um, pompous thinking of, we think that, like, so certain people think that because they view that they're better, that they have the right to <laughs> correct other people's thinking and how to live their lives and what they should live for. And this book really gets into that mindset of, really the colonial mindset of how they view people that they are, that are less advanced than them. If the plot of it sounds too sci-fi for you and you're not into sci-fi, don't let this put you off. This really touches on concepts that are very real and applicable to how we think today and um, and how we have thought in the past and really what do we call advance? Is there a certain sacrifice inherent in the concept of advancement and is there an inherent cruelty that is necessary to be advanced? Um, I really did enjoy this book. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend it. I read somewhere that if you knew the ending of a book or a movie then it is actually more enjoyable because you actually are paying attention, more attention to the the journey and this book has a tinge of reality in it and I when I heard the premise of the book I remembered what I heard of about an astronomer and so I knew the ending so as I know the implications of what's going to happen and what was really going on um, I felt that um, it really allowed me to really be absorbed and pay attention to all the little the dynamic with the astronomer and how we viewed everyone else in terms of this project 
and the sense of superiority that a lot of these people on this project felt. It allowed me to get more into that than really speculating about what was going to happen with the aliens. I think it's a very quick read, and I think that just by having um, very simple language, even the geometry is very, very simple. That's the point of the equilateral triangle. I don't think there's very much to put something, someone off to read this book. It's despite the fact that it's short and the language is simple, I think that the message in this book is very significant and it is something I think that everyone really should think about and, you know, you really wonder about history repeating itself. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much my review on Nuclateral. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.